rural America. Where is it? Who lives there? And why should we care? Because there has never been a more important time to get to know each other in America, to bridge gaps, to help us understand what binds us, not divides us. No matter how underserved or overlooked a small town or community might be, we are all neighbors in a country that values its many. Thus begins a journey into the rural culture and community of Southern Illinois. A journey with stories and pictures of a population that is significant, diverse, and values their place. I'm Glenn Pichard. Welcome to Southern Illinois. We're 340 miles south of Chicago. Far from where most people think the state ends is where Southern Illinois begins. There are no major cities nearby, no major industry, just rolling green hills, lush forests, and modest farmlands. Southern Illinois has a unique cultural and regional history. The far southern counties are dominated by a deep rural culture. The southernmost tip of the region is cradled by the two most powerful rivers in the Midwest. The state ends at the confluence of the Ohio and the mighty Mississippi River, where the historical port city of Cairo, Illinois is located. The label of Southern Illinois is as much of a cultural designation as it is a geographical one. Inland from the rivers in the far southern counties, lie small rural enclaves with names like Rising Sun, Brushy, Rock, Spark Hill, and America. I grew up in one of those small towns in Herald, Illinois. We had about, oh, maybe a hundred residents, all family and neighbors and friends. At one time, these communities each had their own stores, schools, and churches. These rural centers were a source of strength and unity to the people who lived there and in the surrounding countryside. The farmland in Southern Illinois never provided a lot of riches. It was a hard scrabble existence for many folks, but there was a kind of neighborliness that always seemed to be there when you needed it. A strong sense of family and community is what made our lives full. In six half-hour episodes, we will bring you stories about life in rural southern Illinois, then and now. There's a population that is more diverse than before, but still mindful of the connection to the land and the rural culture. Our strength in rural America is our commonality. What is meaningful about living in the rural areas of this country has never really changed. It's a connection to and a love of the land. These rural residents are loyal to their communities. Their stories brim with candor, exemplifying all the complexities and nuances of both the traditional and contemporary lifestyle in rural and small town America. The stories and the telling of them will make it clear that rural America is a significant part of our American experience, not to be left behind or misrepresented. 
Stories are invaluable to a culture and invaluable to each other. They teach us where we have been and what it took to get there. They're exemplary on countless levels as we strive to love, forgive, and be better than we were yesterday. The goal for this series is to bridge any cultural gaps, to overlook stereotypes, and to offer a unique opportunity to understand that there are more motivations that bind us than divide us. There is a sacred space between people that enriches our relationships with each other. It gives us a sense of belonging and meaning. That's how we make sense of the world around us. It's why community is so important. Each episode in this series will have a message, and every story will be a contribution. Welcome to rural Southern Illinois.